In this video we will take a look at how to use navigation in React Native with the React Native drag and drop app builder which you can use directly in your browser. You can access it at interactiveappbuilder.com. This is the world's first native hybrid app drag and drop app builder which you can use in the browser and it's completely free to use and some functions are limited to users with an active account. I recommend that you use Google Chrome to use the app builder. So let's get started. Um, I got this saved app just to show you what we're going to create. So we create simple header here and we create the scroll view below it with a couple of buttons that can simply navigate to uh, the screens we will create. So let's go ahead and create a new app and also remove the screens here and start from screen one. So let's start by defining the header for the application. So I'm just going to drag out this uh, text component, click the settings tab, go to height, set a height of 20%. Let's go to content and center the content inside component. Also going to set a background here. I'm going to use the detailed color picker and use a value of uh, FEC 107 for yellow. And let's just name it screen one. So it's just a basic header we're going to use for the application. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create this uh, scroll view component here, which will contain the actual navigation buttons that will let us navigate to different screens. So let's just go down here to the bottom and add a touchable opacity. Simple button. Let's go into the settings tab and to padding. And we're going to remove the component padding left and right, as well as the component padding top and bottom. We're also going to go to content and then the content margin right here. We're going to set the content margin left and right to zero. Oops. And the same for top and bottom zero. Like that. Now let's go into the settings of the button. I'm going to change the background color to a hex value as well. Uh, let's say 28B6F6 for blue. And let's go to the border tab, radius. I'm going to remove the radius from it, like that. And I'm just going to resize it down here to 50%. Something like that. Let's add another button and apply the same settings here. I'm going to use a hex value here as well for the color. 00579C. Let's go to the border and remove the radius as well. And let's just resize it down to the same size as the button above. So let's see, we got a height of 144. Let's just bump that up. So we got the same height on these two. Well. And if you want, you can preview it in Android as well, down here. So that's it. We got two buttons. Let's add a couple of more. We can add uh, uh, one here. Let's change the background color. We can give it yellow. Remove the border of the button, the border radius. And let's name this first button screen one, screen two, screen three. And if you want to reorder these, you can simply just uh, drag them up and down like this. All right. Let's also add, uh, let's add two more buttons. So the first one can be screen four and the last one screen five. So let's just remove the border radius from this as well and set a background color. So yeah, something like that. Let's just resize this a bit. We can just do something like this. 
drag it up there and we got a height of 144 there let's bump this to the same size so we got both these as at the height of one uh, 124 units then we're gonna change the settings of this entire scroll view component here we're gonna go to the settings tab let's add a height of 80 percent since the header is taken up 20. we can add a height of 80 percent then go to the view tab and set scroll view so if you preview this now you can see that if we scroll here we we got a scroll view of these uh, buttons all right maybe i should change the background color of this as well okay let's use something predefined here um, something like that so now what we have to do is uh, add a navigation to these buttons so let's just uh, click the wrench icon here go to navigation and uh, screen one for screen one then we have to just create screen two three four five so just click the plus button here in the screens module and that's it we got five screens which means we can click the wrench icon of uh, the button which will navigate to screen two and just select screen two right here screen three for button three and then four and then five like that so now we just basically have to create screen one two three four and five so the first thing we can do is we can reuse this navigation scroll view component so just uh, click the settings tab for the component go to screens and mark one two three four and five and now as you can see we're using the component at all these screens and now let's just go ahead and also add a header to the rest of the screens just drag out this text component and this is uh, screen 2 so screen 2 let's just add a background you can click a predefined color here uh, something like that set the height of 20 percent and then the content to center so i will just do this for all the remaining screens So like that so now we got uh, our screens created and we got the navigation component right here which will make it possible to navigate between uh, all the screens so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, save this app let's call it navigation you don't have to save it but you can if you want to then we're gonna go into the app settings and we're gonna leave the screen density as it is and uh, if you want to you can export it for landscape or auto rotate i will uh, compile this in portrait mode so it will only be uh, it will want auto rotate and it will not be landscape in the actual phone so let's just go ahead and uh, compile and download the app and that's it it has compiled so let's open it up and i'm just gonna drag it Extract it, oops, into this folder here. That's it. Uh, it's named my app as default. And then it's gonna see it into my app. I hit npm install. And this might <coughs> this might take a couple of seconds. And as soon as this is done, I'm just gonna hit npm start and I'm gonna fire it up on my physical iPhone device and uh, give you a screen view of, I'm gonna record a screen of the phone so you can see it live, how the actual app works 
in live mode. So as you can see now, to the left on the screen, this is the app running in live mode on my iPhone physical device. So we get screen one here as we're currently in, as you can see in the header, then we can just press the button, navigate to screen two, navigate to screen three, four, and five. And as well, we can scroll this since it's a scroll view and the header is static. And you can just navigate back and forth So yeah, that's it for creating some uh, basic navigation with the interactive app builder. Thank you. Bye-bye.